So in our last video, we moved all of our JavaScript into a single script tag. We don't have any more scripting at all in our HTML. So we've really separated the HTML from the JavaScript. This is a good practice. An even better practice is to keep all of our script in an external file. So just like we did with the CSS, where we keep all of our CSS in a separate file and then we use a link tag to link it. We're going to do something very similar with our script. So we need a new file and we're going to make this one. I need to save it as a .js file. So when you're, <clears throat> when you're doing them, you want it to be a .js file. So I'm going to call it script.js and you can give it any name uh, that you want. So there's my new script.js file. And then I'm going to put all of my JavaScript code. So I'm going to take all of that out and put it in this file. Now notice I don't have any script tags in here. And that's actually really important that all you're doing is talking JavaScript, but you're not using those HTML script tags. So strictly JavaScript is all we're speaking in here. And then inside here, inside my HTML file, what I'm going to have is an empty script tag. And then I'm going to put an SRC attribute and say, go get the any content in the script.js file and put it in here. And that's exactly what will happen, is it will go to this file and it will get all of the all of the content of that script.js and it will put it between that opening and closing script tag. Uh, by the way, it'll overwrite something if you already have something there. So you want to make sure these are empty script tags. Now I save that and I reload and we want to test to see if Walter and Walter is a turkey and it is two years old and sure enough it works. All right, so our, func our function is still working, but we have separated it entirely. So we just have an empty script tag that identifies the source, and we put all of our JavaScript then inside a separate external file. And this way we keep our JavaScript separate from our HTML.